Hey YouTubers, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel pump in your older Evinrude 9.9 .9 horsepower outboard motor. The engine I'm working on today is an older 1980 9.9 .9 horsepower Evinrude engine. And the symptoms this engine is having is it will not run unless it's on the choke and even then it does not run at full power. So I'll take the cover off, first unlatch it down here. Now it's going to pull right up. And on this engine the fuel pump is right here. Now you're probably wondering how did I diagnose that? What I did is I unhooked the fuel line from the carburetor down here, which is the output on the fuel pump. This is where the fuel comes into the pump from the fuel tank. And the smaller line here is where it goes to the carburetor that I showed you just now. Now you can unhook the fuel line with a large screwdriver. This fuel line is pretty rotted, so it's kind of breaking as you can see. And as I mentioned earlier, I had disconnected this line, started up the engine, and there was no fuel coming out of here. So basically that told me that the fuel pump is not pumping any fuel, therefore it had to be replaced. Now if you're wondering why did the engine run even though the fuel line was disconnected, well there's always a bit of fuel left in the fuel bowl and that's how I managed to start the engine up to see if the fuel pump was working. Okay now that you know how I diagnosed it, I'm going to show you how to replace it. I'm going to start by removing the small fuel clip here on the main line coming in from the fuel tank. This clip here is a bit damaged so I'm just going to pry it up like this. Pull it back. Now I'm going to remove the center screw here. Once it's loose you can do it by hand. And now this whole part's going to come off and make it easier to access the two screws that hold the pump on the engine. Now to get the pump off the engine all you need to do is remove this screw here and this one over here. You do not need to remove these two screws here. Now the pumps off the engine, except for the fuel line being connected to it. Now this is the small fuel line I disconnected earlier, so you can just pull the whole pump right out. Now I'm going to disconnect this part here from the big fuel line, just pull on it. Now you'll need to remove the old gasket here. Just grab a flat screwdriver to do this, and just pry the gasket right off. And there it is. I'm going to clean these holes here with a fine wire brush. Try not to get any dirt down this hole here because that's the impulse hole. What that is, is it sends air from the crankcase to the pump to make it function. Now I'm going to sand it lightly with a 400 grit sandpaper. And that's nice and clean for the new gasket to go on. And here's my new fuel pump, which I just purchased at a marina. And it's part number 0391667. And this pump here costs $100 here in Canada. Now in the box, you're going to find some kind of instructions. And the gasket will be in there, and some bolts. These bolts I'm not going to use. And here's my new gasket. This is what I'm going to first install on that engine. First thing I'm going to do is grab the screws that held on the old pump, stick them in the new pump, then insert the gasket on the screws like this. What you want to do now is line up the two screws to the two holes down here. You can start the screws by hand and finish tightening them up with a screwdriver. Put it on evenly. Do not tighten one fully and then the other one. So just snug them evenly for now. And then go back and make sure that they're tightened up evenly on each side. This will make sure that the gasket is on there properly and that there is no air leaks. And you can snug up this screw. Do not over tighten it because you can crack the connector here. Now because the old fuel line that goes from the pump to the carburetor is pretty old and damaged, I'm going to replace it with a brand new line that is see-through. So the first thing I'm going to do is reach down inside and connect it to the smaller connector on the pump. And make sure you've pushed the fuel line all the way up. And usually a small tie wrap like this will work good as a fuel clamp on the fuel line. So I'll reach down in there and put the tie wrap on. And now just snip off the end of the tie wrap 
and by the way the inside diameter of this fuel line is 3 16 now you want to run your fuel line down inside the cowling and to the carburetor connector right here so measure about the length you need then just cut it off and by the way you can use a Tigon or an Exelon fuel line for this application they're good fuel lines because they resist swelling they don't get brittle and they always stay soft when you go to disconnect them and put them back on and what's nice about these fuel lines is you can see if you're actually getting fuel going to the carburetor and I'll just simply connect it to the carburetor connector right here and I'm also going to use a small tie wrap for fuel clamp make sure you've got it right on the connector and I'll just snip the end of the tie wrap now just simply connect the large fuel line to the big connector over here push it in all the way to this plastic notch here and if possible use a stainless steel clamp for this because it is around water a lot and now that pump is fully installed it's that easy all that's left to do now is take it outside in a drum and try it out to make sure that everything's good so now I've got it set up in the drum and I'm gonna try it out I'm gonna need to prime it to get the fuel up there choke it Anyways, I'm really happy with the results of this pump repair. I'm sure if you follow this video closely, you're going to be able to do it yourself. So save yourself a lot of money, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in my next video.